Yep, just outside this little building here. Just a brief tour today, and it's open from nine o'clock till five o'clock, Monday to Saturday, and nine, yeah, I think it's 9.30, you said, until 4 p.m. on Sundays, okay? So remember, this little place here behind me, I'm gonna check it out at some point. They do breakfasts, lunch, and, yeah, lunches, and tea as well. And, uh, yeah, it's a area, of course, where you can buy chairs and everything like that. You've got, of course, an escalator down there, where, of course, there is a shop down below. You've got the lifts just over there. You've got the toilets over in that direction. They are sort of a mixture of disability toilets, men, women toilets, that kind of thing. And you can get chairs for about £79 over there, the current price here in 2024. So if I turn the camera here, you've got a lovely view here. And of course, the espresso bar just here. And you've got to be waiting here to be served. Just here. Wow, amazing. These are all the levels here. All the toilets are on level three. Fashion accessories and more of those kind of things. Watch this jewelry. And I believe there's a cafe down there as well. It's amazing. All these sort of stuff here. And the disability information just here. And uh, we need to get to level number one, I believe, or the actual ground floor actually. <laughs> but I'm gonna check. Hopefully I'll get in time. Another cafe here, you get a lovely view from the top. Just an amazing view. Here comes the lift. Wow, that's amazing. Thing is, you've got three lifts here, one over to here. Someone's coming out. You have to wait for them. So we got down in the lift. Your bag's quite open. Friend, so Thank you very much for telling me that. So you join me on Friday the 19th of April 2024. Starlight is due to come over to Cambridge. Hopefully she won't be waiting an hour to get here. But of course apparently she's on her way on the X13 from Haverhill. Hopefully all being well. If not it will be just me looking around Cambridge. <laughs> Probably end up in the Regal at some point. But what would say is that I've landed myself in the number three floor of John Lewis and it is the Espresso, yeah, <laughs> talking about X, Espresso Cafe, where you get coffee, teas, beverages. Of course, you can even have a hot filled breakfast roll and a hot drink if you skip breakfast. What I like about this particular cafe is they offer to take the tray and all the stuff on the tray like what I've got here to the table how sweet is that from waiters or waitresses looks like there's a bar there and a lovely wall thing to see there artistic thing and the view from the top here of the other buildings looks like Cambridge United football club from here but it's actually not so it's floor number three for this cafe here I was going to try the Ori cafe but it's slightly more expensive than this one but I might try the Ori cafe at a later stage. I just want to go for the cheap ones first and see what they're like in comparison with the one downstairs which is on floor one I believe. Floor two doesn't have a cafe but floor three of John Lewis in Cambridge does have a cafe. So cafes are on level one and level three not on two or naught. Okay so it's nice to actually sit here and relax and enjoy your coffee. Let's enjoy. I'll tell you what I give it out of 10. So this is what I've got on this one. And this one, I don't know if you can see that. It's plain 
and strong cheese and onion and I repeat once more the hand cooked all of these are hand cooked chicken peri peri okay sounds like a, a sort of restaurant that you get chicken takeaways or something like that so yeah I'm going to try this coffee here it's cappuccino right and I should have the receipt somewhere no that's uh, something else there Make sure I've got all the receipts as proof, because we need the proof wherever you go. It's uh, John Lewis and Partners Cambridge. And by the way, of course, I was offered at the time of, of course, well, just before they delivered this to the table, I was offered whether I had an app of John Lewis. I will be thinking about that. It doesn't have a card, but it just gives you sort of points each time you visit so I'll check that out at a later stage so John Lewis and partners Cambridge and regular cappuccino is £3.15 that's the price of all this and the real crisps there's three in total four fifty. okay you divide that between three okay I believe that's £1.50 each. If I've got my uh, maths correct there. Yeah, it could well be. Yeah, it looks like it is. I might be wrong, I might be wrong, but there is VAT on that. Okay, that's £1.28p of VAT on top. And, uh, you know, I paid £20 in cash on that one. So this is the actual receipt itself. I don't know if you can see that in reverse order. Probably not, but it's better to actually have a photograph of it right now. If you see a photograph, check it out. It's got a receipt number as well. That included, which of course is uh, £1.28. So yeah, that's the... Uh, John Lewis and Partners Cambridge Espresso, it's actually called. So it doesn't really say Espresso on the ticket receipt, so that's quite fascinating to know. Anyway, I'm going to show you the ticket right now on the screen. And uh, before I do that, by the way, I'm going to try out, of course, all of these crisps first. And then, of course... I'll try this out, but actually I'm going to do it the other way around. I'm actually going to try the cappuccino first, which uh, of course was £3.15 I believe, a lot cheaper than it is downstairs by the way. And you think the cost of coffee is sort of expensive, seems to be quite expensive for cappuccinos these days. £3.15 and it's a little bit more expensive downstairs. It doesn't make sense. So the higher you go up onto the building, the cheaper it is. Is that how it works? I don't know. But, yeah. Uh, let's have a look at this. It's a cappuccino with chocolate on top of it. So, yeah, the chocolate looks very much like this. Well, okay. I'm actually going to give it a mark out of 10. So, a mark out of 10 for this. I think I'm going to give it around 8 out of 10 because I think it's the best coffee I've ever tasted. I think it's slightly better than other ones that I have been to. Yeah, it just makes me want to try it even more, if you know what I mean. Okay, what I'm going to do is try this chicken thing right now. So, I've tried this chicken hand-cooked peri-peri, or hand-cooked chicken peri-peri, and it's supposed to be hand-cooked. So, how does it compare to other crisps? Obviously it's got that spicy taster or, you know, flavour, if you like, with it. Mm. 
I'm not a huge fan of spicy kind of flavoured crisps, but I'd have to drone it out with another packet of crisps of a different flavour, like you've got strong cheese and onion, that might actually take the flavour away because it's quite spicy. Yeah, the coffee is great, but I'm actually going to give these crisps a seven because of the spice is too hot. Around seven from me out of ten. What would you rate it? If you were here right in front of me, or actually on camera now, in this building of the Expresso John Lewis in Cambridge, what would you rate it if you bought one of these? Let us know in the comments. It's getting hotter. Don't think I'll buy these again. So, yeah, I might change my mind actually and bring it down to about 4 out of 10 because the spice is just absolutely awful. So I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10 because of the spice. It doesn't warn you about the spice before you buy it. It's okay, but I'm not over impressed. But, yeah. I think I need something to drown it out, maybe a coffee or something. It's quite strong. So I was going to rate it 7 out of 10. It is now 4 out of 10 because of the spiciness. It's too strong. Come on, my face now. Now I'm going to try packet number two. And then the final one. Yes, sir. It's a really, really strong, hot, hand cooked. Although they were hand cooked, but it was quite strong for a chicken peri peri. Just bear that in mind when you buy those type of crisps. It might not be so bad for other people, but for me, it was just too hot. I tend to stay away from hot stuff. Oh, really gets to you, doesn't it? Let's drown myself with these, see if these are any bad. These are quite strong, so. And again, you might not be a sort of huge fan of cheese and onion. That's an improvement. Strong cheese and onion, one. Huh? Taste the good flavour in this and hand cooked as well. Because it's my favourite flavour, maybe I should give it a good rate. And the fact that they are strong, it's not because it's my favourite flavour of crisps. But having said that, yeah, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. What would you give these flavours if you were sat there in front of me in John Lewis today? What would you give it out of 10? Have you ever been to John Lewis or one of these cafes before? You can hear the noise here. There are plenty of people here. I'm going to enjoy these. We're going to go on to the third packet in just a moment. That'll be the plain one. So I'm going to crack on and try and eat these as fast as I can. As fast as I can, rather. <laughs> Thumbs up to me. Nine out of ten for me. market out of 10, this round 10, but of course, as it is the first time I've tried one of those since the coffee link at Bevson Evans, I just had to give it a 9. But, you might think different, what do you think? Would you try it? And have you tried it? Even if you haven't been here, would you go for 
that type of flavour of crisp, strong cheese and onion. Let us know in the comments, it's important to hear from you. If you can, tell us on that. All right, okay, final packet of crisps here. These real hand sea salt. Now these are sea salt that you'll get probably from the sea. Gluten free and vegan as well. So yeah, with bags of character. Well, we'll find out about that when I open them, like that. I always tend to open these packet of crisps sort of the other way around, which is quite fascinating to know. Mm. Of course it takes away the flavour of the spiciness of the packet of crisps that I had earlier, the chicken peri peri, because I had the other one, which is the strong cheese and onion, and this takes the flavour away completely, which is good. So it's always best if you're going to have the chicken peri peri, I would probably advise you, in my opinion, to have them before you have the others, so that the others can drain off the sort of spicy, horrible, <laughs> to some people, taste. Which, of course, not everybody will find it horrible. Some people are used to kind of like spicy and hot spicy stuff but for me I'm not a huge fan of it okay so that's good richness good oil it's vegetable oils rat seed and sunflower in variation proportions or varying proportions and sea salt of course. Is sea salt better for you than normal salt? Let us know also in the comments as well so I can tell people in the future. Whilst I crack on with this, I'm going to say a huge thank you very much. Oh I need to rate it, don't I? I rate the crisps, in my opinion. Okay, I'm not doing a food tasting experiment. I'm just giving you rates on certain areas that we sort of cover. And the crisp to me, I'll give it a 10 out of 10 because that is probably um, a good way to get rid of all the taste completely, as it was the last crisp as well. So maybe I can change my mind to the plain crisp as my favourite next time round. Who knows? But I'm going to drink and celebrate to this, not with a glass of wine or a pint of beer or a shandy. But this delicious 8 out of 10 cappuccino, it's pushing on to 9 out of 10 actually. So, overall, I would give it, let me think about this one, the spicy crisps was a bit strong for me but the flavour took away the spiciness on the second packet which was a strong cheese and onion crisp and the plain which was on the third packet of crisps took away the flavour completely so I'm actually going to give it a 9 out of 10 it's just a pity about the spiciness on the strongness of the chicken peri peri which of course I'm not a huge fan, obviously, you can see that I'm not a huge fan of spices. It was okay, don't get me wrong, it was okay, it was good hand cooked, but it wasn't for me. So 9 out of 10 for this visit, and uh, I might rate another one at some point. Slightly different to other channels that seem to rate a lot of food. We do foods, but don't rate them as much but maybe we could actually include that in some of our videos amongst other stuff as well. We're not just a food channel or drink channel. We're just a variation like sea salt in varying proportions. I said that right a second time there. But uh, thank you for watching this channel. YouTube likes the thumbs up and YouTube likes subscribers. Which one of that will you decide? It's up to you. 
until next time, take care. Peace out and go in peace. From Nixie, take care. From the Expresso, oh, actually I haven't pronounced that right, Expresso. Again, we're talking about our X's, as in X13s, not anything else. Yeah. So, definitely try and spread the word about touring with us, and we hope to see you next time. From the John Lewis, third floor, Expresso Cafe. Bye-bye. Well, this building is about to close very shortly. Um, you can just about see the main cafe just behind us here. You can see people are gradually disappearing because it's almost at the end of the afternoon. But what I would say is that uh, it was overall a great experience to come here. I hope to come here with an extra person, uh, whoever that may be. Could be my brother, could be Starlight, could be anyone actually. Um, yeah, even if you have been a supporter of our channel, if you'd like to come with us and try out this place and be filmed in front of your very eyes, come and give us a shout and then we'll try and arrange a time for that to happen. <laughs> yeah, I think you're all thinking you're going to be scared to be on camera, but some of you are, some of you are not. And if you want to have a little tiny bit of fame, get in touch with us. From all of us here, until next time, hopefully there will be a next time where we will show you another cafe in the future or something different on the channel that you've not seen before. <laughs>